create what? It creates shock. Right? It creates a shock. That vibration is sent up through your spine and it damages your bones. Alright? The earth that was set up before, we was working on the ground. The ground cushions, it supports. Alright? But this is Esau's kingdom. Esau wants everything set up in a, in a form of perfection in their eyes. In a form of order in their eyes. Right? They have everything lined up. Perfect. But if you have the bill of, if you have the bill of building, they have laws. Um, I don't know what they call it in America, but down here we have the tongue and country to keep everything in order. This is how your tongue and this is how your country is supposed to be. That's all part of Esau's system. But guess what? The Most High he gave us our inheritance, which was our land. And Jake, say what? Rat race. Rat race. Right, the rat race. Right, Esau have us go. The rat race is what? Now we think that we have to work to eat, but what in the kingdom of heaven? I'm a boxer, so I even sing about that too. If we don't work, we don't eat. That's your rat race. If we don't work, we don't eat. Where's righteousness and that? Because th that means that they put in value to money. What he so called money. You have to have money to eat. You have to have money to have clothes. You have to have money to have a roof over your head. But according to the scriptures, according to what? The behavior of Israel. The behavior, the behavior that Israel is supposed to have. Brother is supposed to take care of our, of our brother. Nah. Right? We're supposed to take care of, of our neighbor. Just as you take care of yourself. You understand? So then, if we was doing that, the nation would fall. And we wouldn't have no need to put so much trust in money or in mammon. Right? That's why the scripture said spiritually. Why gain the world and lose your soul? Because this world, this world is all about mammon, money. That's why the scripture said, can I serve two masters? Mammon or money? Mammon or Yahweh? Mammon means money. Right? You can't serve money and serve the most high. You put your faith in him and guess what? He's going to give you a daily bread. Right? Uh, Seventeen. Then answered I and said, O oh, Yahweh power that bearest rule, thou hast ordained in thy law that the righteous should inherit these things, but that the un that the ungodly should perish. Right, so that the ungodly would perish. Because why? Because they are found unworthy. They could not endure. They were found unworthy. So they will perish. Because within them, they are wicked. Right? Give me a Ecclesiastes. They will be found worthy of the kingdom, of the inheritance. But the wicked, unworthy, and, and their destiny is to be destroyed. Tonight. Right, and what? The, the, the son of the wicked, which is Esau, for sure, we, we don't really want much to do with them in the, in the kingdom. They're going to be put under heavy rigor, hard, hard, heavy slavery. You understand? And the only day they're gonna get spared is on, on, on um, the summer day. But other than that, we're gonna whip your ass. Right? You're gonna be made to pay. You're gonna be recompense. It's gonna come bitter. It's gonna become bitter. I personally pray that the Lord shut your back. 
because I want to whip you forever. <laughs> you want four? You want four? Yeah. Go ahead. This is Ciroc, Ciroc 34 and 4. Go ahead. Of an unclean thing, uh -huh. what can be cleansed? And, fr and from that which is false, what truth can come? Out of it. What truth can come, is it? Yeah. Right. Of an unclean thing, what truth can come out of it? Right. That which is false. Do you know against Ciroc, yeah? Uh, Ciroc 4 and 34, 34 and 4. And 4. Of an unclean thing, what can be cleansed? And from that which is false, what truth can come? So we know the son of the unclean is Esau. The son of falsehood, the devil is Esau. Because what the, the word devil means deceiver. To deceive means to, you, to use lies, right? And also they have two thirds of our people that are unclean. That's naturally in this period they're unclean, the wicked, right? So they have to be the show, they have to be eradicated and come back to righteousness, to the righteous seat. Where you have our child is going to put them, put them in a different spirit. He's going to remove that, that stony heart and get them a fleshy heart. A heart of righteousness. Alright? Go back to our... They have something, you see, they have something on the heart. Second Ezra 7 and 18. Nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things. Right, the, the righteous shall suffer straight things. That straight thing will come out in the form of correction. It will come in the form of adversity. Right, it will come, come in the form of sickness. Because the apostles, they actually brought out uh, lessons in the past. Where certain of the uh, disciples, right? They, they had, besides we know the fact that we know that Paul had a thorn in his side. But certain of the other disciples had, had different sicknesses also. Alright? And all these afflictions and sickness were, was, was, was put there to keep them in a humble state of mind. Right? To keep them humble, to keep them low, to keep them to the ground. Go ahead. To keep them wanting your heart, but you shy. Nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for why. Right. The hope that we're hoping for is for the kingdom to come. You hope the first first part before you even reach the kingdom, you hoping for Yahweh Bashi Me Al Shai to deliver us, right? That we are part of the elect. Because if we're not part of the elect, we're going to be born with what? The two thirds, and we're going to be destroyed. The two thirds and Edom and Esau and the Edens are wrong about. So we hope that we are part of the elect, right? What? For for they that have done wickedly, have suffered the straight things, and yet shall not see the wide. Right. They that have done wickedly because they have some among us are going through that, that hardship. They are going through that affliction. But at the end of it, if they're not of the elect, they're going to die. Long and short of the story. Alright? And overall, Israel. Israel. Israel is the chosen of the Most High, isn't it? Aren't they? But guess what? And they're going through, they're going through the streets too. Because the same, the, the same captivity, the same torments that I'm going through, the rest, of, the rest of Israel is going through. You understand? So they're suffering it. They're suffering the affliction of these, what, these GMO foods. The affliction of the water, the, con the contaminated water, the contaminated air. The lies, the, the, the system that he saw set in place to keep us in the region. They suffer all these different things. But guess what? Two thirds of them are not going to see the kingdom. Alright? Go ahead. Verse 18. Verse 19. And he said unto me, There is no judge above Yahweh, and none that had understanding above the highest. Right. So in other words, he's telling um, he telling um, Ezra, don't be so perplexed. There's only one judge. There's nobody higher than Yahweh but Shimei Al Shai. And what? There's another scripture that said what? The foolishness of the Most High is still wiser than the wisdom of men. So he was asking in the beginning, he said, hey, if you promise the kingdom of heaven to Israel, why are you destroying a portion of Israel? Why are you destroying two thirds? Because they're wicked, long and short of the story. They're wicked. And he's going to, in order for us, part of the mystery is that, hey, you know, you have to know righteousness. You know, you have to be a good judge. You have to know good and bad. So these afflictions that we're going through is for us to know good and bad. And we're going to be that light. 
to all these other nations because all these other nations all they know is wickedness and we're going to be that weapon sick to bring them into righteousness they're going to know it because we're going to be that righteousness set up on the land we're going to be that light we already the men that are crying on this side we already started to shine we are the light among the gentiles right now these men that are diligent that come in week in week out that, that do sit down sir, that do stand up that do walk and talk whatever it may be to bring into the knowledge that israel is the negroes latinos and the native right these men are already that light among the gentiles and we're going to shine even brighter in the kingdom of heaven Uh, verse 20 for there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of Yahweh that is set before them Someone who was made a little lower than the angels. He is Yahweh Shai Mashiach, who is strong with glory and honor because he suffered death, so that the grace of Yahweh he might experience death for everyone. Right? So as, as he did, so, so do we. He says we die daily. Right? This is um, Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19. I call heaven and, and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Therefore choose life that both you and thy seed may live, that thou mayest love the Lord thy, thy, thy power, Jehovah thy power, and that thou mayest obey his voice. And that thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life, and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which Yahweh swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham.